Good evening. My name is Scott Anderson. I'm the police chief here in Troutdale. Tonight I must share some sad news that we have identified the victim in today's shooting as 14-year-old Emilio Hoffman, a freshman at Reynolds High School. I met with Emilio's parents this afternoon, and I can tell you how devastated they are by this news. They want you to know that Emilio was a great kid, and he was loved by all. Obviously, the family has a difficult road ahead. On their behalf, I ask that the media do not attempt to contact them at this time. When they are ready to make or release more formal statements, we will assist them in that effort if they so desire. This is a tragedy that affects our whole community. This is not supposed to happen to any school or to any child, but we will get through this together. I would also like to extend my appreciation to teacher Todd Rispler, who despite being injured, was able to make his way to the office and initiate the school lockdown procedure. I know that you have many questions about what happened inside Reynolds today, and I will try to provide some of those details to you. However, please note that this is an ongoing case, and we are limited at what we can release. We have tentatively identified the shooter in today's event, but again, we are not in a position to 100% confirm his name and age at this time. When we are able to do so, we will release that information. I want to give you some brief preliminary information about what we believe happened today inside Reynolds High School. The shooter entered the building that houses the school's gym. It's a separate, detached building. We know that Emilio was shot and killed in the boys' locker room. The shooter was located in a different, separate restroom. As we received the initial reports of an active shooter, two Troutdale Police School resource officers and two other local police officers responded very quickly. I believe that their quick response saved many of our students' lives. For that, your community and I thank you. I know there are numerous media reports about how the shooter died. I can tell you that information is not confirmed. We are waiting for details from the medical examiner's office before knowing or confirming any such information. Likewise, we will not comment on the specific weapon used at this time other than to say it was a rifle. I want to thank all the local, state, and federal agencies that have been supporting us in this effort, as well as the emergency responders and mental health professionals and school officials. With that, I'll turn it over to Reynolds Superintendent Linda Flores. having our two resource officers in the building who were first on the scene. We have many things that we have to do in the next few days. One is we're closing down Reynolds High School until further notice so that the police can do their investigations. With our evacuation, 
many of our students had to leave all of their handbags, backpacks, and personal possessions. So this evening, from 6.30 to 8.30 at Reynolds Middle School, our students and staff may pick up their personal belongings. And this is at 1200 Northeast 201st Avenue in Fairview. Throughout the remainder of this week, we will have counselors at all of our schools. Because as you know, all of our students are related. They know each other. They have friends and family in other schools. Counselors will be available, and we'll also have counseling for our high school students at a later date that we will be letting them know. They currently are able to go to Mulcahy Community College for any uh, mental health services that they need. This is just a tragic event. It feels so personal. I know we will get through this. We have a very safe school district. I'm Doug Dowst. I'm the mayor of Troutdale. It's uh, sad that on such a beautiful day, with the sun out in such a beautiful little city like Troutdale, uh, that we've had such uh, an experience today that's been injected into this tight-knit community. And it is affecting the whole community uh, today. I've had condolences expressed by Governor Kitzhaber today and Senator Jeff Merkley, they both really express their sadness about what has happened in Troutdale today. And I hope that no other mayor around the United States goes through the emotional nightmare that we have gone through in this city today. I would not wish that on any other mayor. Um, but the truth is, is we will get through this. Uh, we will support each other through this whole thing, and we will come out okay. And we'll support the students as best we can throughout the next few days. Thank you very much. Chief Anderson's statement will be released on the flash alert. Momo kind of Sheriff's flash alert as well as on Twitter, so you'll be able to, to locate that. Uh, the investigation is active and ongoing. Uh, there's no, there's going to be no admittance to the building to Reynolds High School until at least tomorrow. And we also have some important information regarding pickup of vehicles on the school grounds for parents that want to pick their vehicles up and that have vehicles parked there. Uh, for those parked on the west side of the school, you'll be able to go to the parking lot at, Mag at Imagination Station, which is located here on Imagination Way, uh, and you'll be able to remove your car at that time. If you are parked in the eastern parking lot by the gym, Go to Imagination Station at 7 p.m. We will escort small groups in at that time to retrieve their vehicles and, and take them. Now, you will not be able to access the building, so if you have uh, a vehicle there, you will need to bring keys with you. Please make sure to do that, or you will not be able to get your vehicle tonight. The school district has secured all the backpacks and bags that were left at the scene, as they said. They're, they're uh, releasing those tonight at Reynolds Middle School in the North Gym, is my understanding, between 6.30 and 8.30 p.m. tonight. You'll be able to pick up belongings that were collected as people were during the evacuation of the school. Anyone who was a witness to the events inside the school this morning or who may have information about the shooting is asked to call the Troutdale Police tip line at 503-250-7943. People with images taken during the incident this morning should email those through the link available at troutdale.info. Multnomah County has established a mental health resource center at Mount Hood Community College Gymnasium. That center is being staffed by counselors from Multnomah County, FBI Victim Services, and Trauma Intervention Program volunteers, as well as Reynolds School District counselors from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. today, and will be staffed tomorrow as well from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Multnomah County Health Mental Health Crisis Line is also available at 503-988-4888. This time we'll take a couple questions. So Lieutenant, does this appear to be a targeted shooter shooting or is it a random shooting? At this point, that's we're still investigating this and that's still part of the investigation. We'll release further details as we as we learn and get further along in the investigation. This is going to take a little while to investigate. Is this 
the shooter a student? At this time, that's still being determined as part of the investigation. Once we have those details confirmed, we can confirm the identity. We'll release those details later on or tomorrow, whenever we find the person. Right? Is the first being identified as the shooter a student? At this time, we're still working on identifying positively the shooter involved in the shooting, and once that's done, we'll be able to release details regarding the shooter as far as his age and, 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 and any affiliation. The rifle that was used was the AR-15. We don't have a specific type of rifle. We'll release those details as the investigation proceeds. We're able to uh, determine it? that, and we'll be able to do that. Do you have any information from a parent that there may have been a threat in the school about a shooting, a potential shooting several months ago? Is there any That's background information I'll have to find details on later, and we can see if something has been reported on that. I don't have any information on that, sure. Did Lieutenant, you mentioned you tentatively system. identified uh, the gunman, the shooter. Have you uh, searched any home connected to this? Uh... Again, the investigation is continuing. Of course, those, those are part of the investigation as we proceed through it. We'll let you know once we are able to confirm more of that. Any, One more question here. Any indication that the shooter had planned this for a certain amount of time? At this point in time, that's part of the investigation. That's what we're doing and working to determine